in a world where the traditional practice of prayer often reflects a plea to an external deity, a transformative understanding emerges. The concept that we do not pray, we command. This profound realization stems from an awareness of our higher self, the aspect of our being that transcends the physical realm and taps into a deeper spiritual consciousness. This higher self is intimately connected with the workings of the mind, acknowledging that the divine is not a distant entity, but an integral part of our innermost being. By turning inwards and embracing meditation, we engage in a dialogue, not with an external God, but with the divine spirit that resides within us. This practice of inner reflection and commanding our reality is a powerful testament to the strength and sovereignty of the human spirit. Spiritual alchemy, a concept steeped in ancient wisdom, reveals that our existence and experiences are fundamentally shaped by energy, vibration, and frequency. This perspective understands the universe as a symphony of energies, where our thoughts and intentions can transmute and shape our reality. By aligning ourselves with these universal frequencies, we can manifest our desires in the physical, three-dimensional world. This approach transcends the simplistic view of materialism, acknowledging that all matter originates from energy, and thus everything is inherently spiritual. By mastering this alchemical process, we command our bodies and minds, acknowledging that the physical realm is a reflection of our mental and psychological states. In this new paradigm, the act of kneeling in prayer to an external God is seen as a misinterpretation of our true nature. Traditional prayer often becomes a plea, a sign of not understanding our innate divinity. This script challenges the notion of being mere humans, striving for spirituality, advocating instead for the recognition of our inherent divine nature. It urges us to transcend the belief that favor from a higher power is earned through deeds alone, and to understand that true grace is an expression of love, beginning with self-love and belief in oneself. This understanding prompts a shift from demanding external intervention to commanding our reality through an awareness of our intrinsic spiritual identity. Observing nature offers profound insights into the laws governing the universe and humanity. Nature, in its effortless abundance and harmony, serves as a model for how we should align our lives. If we find ourselves lacking, it is an indication of our misalignment with these natural laws. Claiming to pray to a higher power while harboring a mindset of scarcity, mediocrity, and mental enslavement is a contradiction. This part of the script serves as a call to realign with the natural order, to understand the laws of the universe, and to command our lives in accordance with these principles, leading to a life of abundance and fulfillment. The journey towards self-realization and commanding our life's direction is deeply rooted in the practices of meditation and silence. This section emphasizes the importance of calming the mind and listening to the silence, as it is in this quietude that we can truly commune with our spirit. Meditation is not just an act of stillness. It's an active engagement with our subconscious, our heart, and our deeper self. By entering this state of inner peace, we can impress our desires upon our subconscious mind, which then manifests in our waking, physical reality. Physical reality? This process is a form of spiritual communion, far removed from traditional prayer, where the true power lies within our own subconscious. The ultimate goal of this spiritual awakening is self-realization, understanding and embracing our inner divinity. Recognizing that the kingdom of God is within us leads to the discovery of the secret of creation. By comprehending the principles of energy, vibration, and frequency, 
and their role in the transmutation of energy into matter, we become conscious creators of our reality. This understanding liberates us from seeking external salvation, recognizing that all power, wisdom, and creative force reside within us as conscious creators. We no longer beg or plead to an external savior. We know that everything we need and desire originates from within our own minds and spirits. This section encapsulates the essence of the script, a call to awaken to our true power and to consciously shape our reality, commanding our lives from a place of inner strength and wisdom. In the grand tapestry of existence, each individual holds within them a universe as vast and complex as the cosmos itself. This inner universe is governed by the same laws that orchestrate the celestial bodies. When we recognize this profound connection, we see that commanding our reality is not an act of imposing will upon the world, but rather a harmonious dance with the universal energies. This understanding elevates us from mere participants in the drama of life to conscious co-creators, working in unison with the cosmic forces. We learn that the mind is not just a tool for thought, but a gateway to the infinite, a nexus where the microcosm of individual experience meets the macrocosm of universal wisdom. In this realization, we find that commanding our lives is an act of aligning our personal frequency with the universal symphony, creating a life that resonates with the rhythms of the cosmos. In the realm of spiritual alchemy, thoughts are not mere reflections of reality, but the very substance from which reality is woven. This perspective invites us to view our mental processes as alchemical crucibles where raw energies of possibility are transmuted into tangible experiences. When we command our reality, we do so by meticulously crafting our thoughts, imbuing them with intention and purpose. Each thought becomes a conscious act of creation, a deliberate stroke in the masterpiece of our lives. This alchemical process reveals that our mental landscape is a fertile ground for manifestation, where seeds of thought, carefully nurtured, bloom into the realities we experience. It is a journey of transformation, where the leaden weight of unexamined thought is transmuted into the gold of conscious creation, revealing the profound power of the mind as the architect of our destiny. Within each person lies a fragment of the divine, a spark of the same fire that illuminates the stars and gives life to the universe. This divine essence is not separate from us. It is the core of our being, the truest expression of our identity. When we command our lives, we do so by tuning into this divine frequency allowing the resonance of our soul to guide our actions and decisions. This process is more than mere self, awareness. It is an intimate communion with the sacred aspect of our existence. As we align our lives with this divine resonance, we find that our choices and actions flow not from ego or desire, but from a deeper, more authentic place. This alignment brings with it a sense of peace and purpose, a feeling of being in sync with the universe, as if each step we take is an echo of the divine melody that plays within our souls. The journey to self-mastery is a path illuminated by the light of our own consciousness. As we awaken to the power within us, we embark on a quest not for external validation or achievement, but for inner understanding and growth. This path of self-mastery is not linear or predictable. It winds through the depths of our psyche, challenging us to confront our fears, embrace our shadows, and transcend our limitation. In commanding our reality, we become both the traveler and the guide.
navigating the intricate landscapes of our inner world. With each step on this path, we shed layers of illusion, revealing the luminescent core of our being. This journey is a pilgrimage to the heart of our existence, a voyage of discovery where the treasures unearthed are not of gold or gem, but of wisdom, love, and the unshakable knowledge of our own power and potential. In the modern cacophony of life, the power of silence is often overlooked, yet in the depths of stillness lies profound wisdom and insight. When we command our reality, we do so not only through action and thought, but also through the potent practice of silence. In silence, we step back from the noise of the external world and enter a sanctuary of peace and introspection. This sacred space is not empty. It is filled with the subtle music of our innermost thoughts and feelings, a symphony of the soul that speaks in whispers and sighs. In this quietude, we can hear the voice of intuition, the gentle guidance of our higher self, leading us towards truth and clarity. Embracing the wisdom of silence is to acknowledge that sometimes the most profound answers are found not in words or deeds, but in the hush of quiet contemplation where the soul speaks and the heart listens.